G'day guys, we've got a trigonometry question today that's going to require us to use the sine and the cosine rule. So what we've got here is we've got a communications tower that's supported by two sets of wires, a short one and a long one. The short one makes an angle of 38 degrees with the tower and the long one is connected to the top of the communications tower and is 37 metres long. Now what we have to find is we have to find the, the length or the difference between where the two wires are connected to the communications tower. So to start with guys, what we're going to do is we're going to appreciate hopefully that these, this angle here and the angle inside the triangle, because they lie on a straight line, are going to add up to 180, which makes this angle here 142. Now what we're going to use is we're going to use the sine rule, which basically states that the ratio of a side to the sine of the angle opposite that side will be consistent throughout a triangle. So I'm going to use this side and the opposite angle along with this side and this angle in here. So we're going to work out this angle here. Let's call it angle A. So what we're going to do is we're going to say 37 divided by the sine of 142 is going to be equal to 31 meters divided by the sine of A. Cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to rearrange this formula so we can just solve for A and we're going to find that A is going to be equal to the inverse or arc sine of 31 times sine of 142 all divided by 37. Cool. And what we get, guys, is we get an angle which is equal to 31 degrees. That's a really hopeless degree, son. Degrees. Great. So we now know that A is equal to 31 degrees. Now, if we add these two angles together and subtract from 180, we're able to get this angle here. So this angle here will equal 7 degrees. Cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the cosine rule to find what this side here is. We're going to call, let's just write x in. Good. So, basically the cosine rule says that the square of one side is equal to the square of the two other sides minus two times the other two sides times the cosine of the angle opposite the side we're trying to find. So, we're going to say that x squared is equal to 37 squared plus 31 squared minus 2 times 37 times 31 times the cosine of 7 degrees. Great. And so what we end up with there, guys, is once we square root the entire thing, because what we can do is we can just go, well, x is going to be equal to 37. the square root of this entire expression. And we get an answer for x, which is equal to 7.2. Nine meters. Cool. So guys, what we have here is we have a relatively, if you're just being introduced to trigonometry, this is a relatively complicated um, geometry question. However, if you've been doing trigonometry for a while, you might think, why the hell have I just watched this video? But guys, understanding when to use the sine and the cosine rule only comes with practice. So again, you've just got to keep bashing your head against the wall until the wall eventually falls down. 
you have to understand that if I have two sides and one angle, I can work out the angle using the sine rule. And if I have two sides and one angle and I need to find another side, I should be using the cosine rule. So it's understanding which rule is used in like sort of what circumstance, sort of at the, you know, under the pressure of an exam situation, which is going to only come with practice. So I guess just keep practicing, 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 guys, bashing your head against the wall. Eventually that wall will fall down. But until next time, guys, just keep enjoying your maths, keep enjoying your trigonometry. If you have any problems, don't hesitate to leave them in the comment section below. But until next time, guys, please like the video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time.